Welcome to the Mitsubishi Electric Technical Product Video Series. In this video, we'll be showing you how to separate the PEAM HAA Series ducted unit, fan deck section, from the coil section for ease of maneuvering into a ceiling space. The recommended tools you will need to make the separation process as smooth as possible are a cordless drill, Manual hand tools can also be used. A 450mm extension bit will make reaching the required screws far less cumbersome than trying to reach inside the fan assembly box. A 5 16th inch tech or nut setter bit. A Phillips head bit or Phillips head screwdriver. And a small flat bladed screwdriver to assist with loosening the mounted zip ties. For shipping, the two 400mm diameter return air spigots have been reversed on the unit. In order to separate the unit, these two have to be removed. They can then be reinstalled in the correct orientation once the indoor unit has been installed in its final position. Once the return air spigots have been removed, locate the coil sensor cables running through the back of the fan barrel section and into the coil section. Trace this cable back through the side of the return air box and to the PCB electrical panel. You will need to remove the electrical cover panel in order to access the PCB and the sensor plug by loosening the screws and lifting the cover up and out. Once removed, locate the sensor plug in CN44 and disconnect the plug from the PCB and feed it back through the rubber grommet in the side of the return air box. Back inside the return air box, you will need to loosen, do not cut, the mounted zip tie by pressing on the tab at the bottom of the zip tie, underneath the tail. A small flat bladed screwdriver is best for this. Once loosened, feed the cable through the zip tie and then through the rubber grommet in the rear of the fan assembly section. Make sure enough slack has been made available so that when the two halves have been separated, the cable can be pulled through without damaging the cable or the connector itself. Inside the fan assembly section, utilize the 450mm extension bit to remove the six securing screws, as well as the two guide screws set into the snowman shaped cutouts that can be loosened or removed for separation. There are two securing screws in the middle section of the fan deck, just above the fan motor position. On the right hand side there are two securing screws, one at the top and one at the bottom and one guide screw in the snowman shaped cutout that can be loosened or removed for separation. Mirrored on the left hand side, two screws once again at the top and the bottom secure the unit together, with a guide screw in the middle that needs to be loosened or removed from the snowman shaped cutout for separation. Once these steps have been completed, the two sections can be separated. Lift the fan barrel section of the unit so that the snowman shaped cutouts larger sections are over the screws, ensuring that as the sections are separated the sensor cable is not being pulled or getting caught on the plug top. The individual halves can now be maneuvered into their final location independently. Here you can see a diagram of the dimensions of the individual sections of the HAA indoor unit. To simplify the calculations for maneuvering into and mounting the unit in its final position. One of the advantages of this unit's design is the central connecting section. This allows it to be installed between roof trusses where space permits. To reassemble the unit, simply perform these actions in reverse. Ensure that the guide screws are put back into the coil side for mounting onto the snowman cutouts. Guide the coil sensor back through the rubber grommet at the rear of the fan deck section. At this point, ensure that the sensor cable is pulled all the way through to ensure that it does not get pinched or damaged. Feed it through the right hand side rubber grommet and secure it in place with the mounted zip tie. Line up the snowman cutouts with the mounting screws and then lift the fan deck section into place on the screws. Keep the two sections as level as possible to make sure all the screw holes line up. Begin installing the securing screws. 
Partially thread all screws before tightening any screws to avoid cross threading. Once all screws have been threaded partially, then completely tighten them all down. Plug the coil sensor back into the PCB and re-secure the electrical panel. Then reattach the return S bigots in their correct orientation and the assembly is complete.